they don't. They don't. Uh, firstly, you need to ask this question. Why is the question of refugees important now? Why not when Qataris were buying Harrods? Why not when Qataris are investing 20% of the stake in Heathrow Airport? Why not when Qataris are buying chunks in Barclays Bank? Okay. Why don't you ask these questions when these, uh, these contracts are being signed, multi-billion dollars or multi-billion pound contracts are being... Why not when Qataris have the largest land owning profile in Britain? They are the largest land owners, I, to my knowledge. Okay, they probably own more. Qatari, Qatari uh, business entities own more land in Britain than the royal family now, I think. Uh, so, when these contracts are being signed, so be morally consistent then, right? Ask these questions then. Number one. Number two, when did any of the Muslim countries claim perfection? We've never claimed perfection. We've never claimed superiority over other civilizations. We don't. What we do claim is religious superiority. We believe Islam is the best solution to humanity or for humanity. Okay? We stand by that claim. But Muslims are not the best examples. We make it very clear. Countries, people, tribes, nations, they're not the best examples. They have their traditions, they have their ways of doing things. We say what makes them better, not best, what makes them better is Islam. And where they are lacking is because they are ignoring that aspect of Islam. Because Islam is very clear on kindness, on compassion, on generosity, on hospitality, on things like that. Islam is very clear. If a people or if a tribe is not practicing that particular aspect of Islam, then this is what we need to talk about. Secondly, they don't have the moral high ground. People who are asking this question, they created millions of refugees in the Middle East and abandoned them. I say that. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to blame them for Syria, but Iraq. Come on, guys. Be, be serious about it. When you have a conversation, we need to talk about this. We need to actually raise these questions. That When did Qatar invade another country and leave millions of refugees and walk away? It's a question, right? In fact, a country like Qatar is helping people to come in and do work here. Right? These are people from very poor countries. They are living in utter poverty. They want to come here and work. Right? But there's no perfection. And, and it's a country which, which wants to get better. I mean, I'm talking, and now I sound like a Qatari spokesperson, right? <laughs> Not on BBC, yeah? but, but I've been watching interviews. I've been watching interviews, right? I, I watched this very good interview by this, uh, this person who was responsible for the World Cup, with Piers Morgan. He did a very good job. He said, look, we have things to improve. We are improving. We're not saying we're not going to improve. We're not being arrogant. We're not telling you to get lost. Yes, we have things to do. We are th we have things to improve. Like any nation, like any people, we are getting there. So we don't need to be on the back foot. Okay? When people question, you need to raise all these points. Why now? It is The World Cup in Qatar is burning you for some reason. It's really, you know, we can hear the sizzling sound. And we can see the smoke coming from all over the world. What the hell is wrong with you people? You can't, you know, Quran is so amazing, Allah Akbar, how Allah revealed that these people will never be happy with you. Oh, when something good comes to you from Allah, they're not happy. Right? So it's, 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 uh, it's, we, again, we need to be as assertive as we can be, as confident as we can be. We acknowledge faults where they do exist, and when, then we, we, we express the, the beauty of Islam and tell them this is not because of Islam, because of our lack of Islam.